Hey, I'm Dave Relike, and welcome to my walkthrough of Peacock TV. Let's go ahead and get on in. So this is our home screen, and what you'll see, we start off on the Browse tab. And this is kind of just highlighting some of the various content that we can see across, whether or not it's a TV show, movie, kids, news, sports, or even Latino, based around various categories that they've set. So what we really want to look at and kind of start onto is more of the TV shows, just to give you an idea of all the content that you can watch. And you can watch Vanderpump Rules or The Real Housewives. And there's current TV, Real Housewives, kind of the Kardashian content, you know, just a bunch of categories that are available here. Now, if you really want to, what you could do is go all the way to the very bottom, it takes a little while, and go all the way to the very right and view all so this is tv shows a to z and so we can see all of the content that's available on peacock and at any point what we can do is click on the star button and this will activate the watch list so we can add a show to our watch list if we want to and so let's go ahead and click on baby felix and friends and you can see that automatically a little trailer video will play and we can click on watch now or we can click on episodes. So if we go to episodes, we've got season one, 26 episodes, and you can see very easily we can select any episode that we want. All right, it looks like there might actually not be any ads because I don't see any yellow dots on the timeline itself. We'll get into that in a split second. But in the meantime, let me just show you how quickly you can fast forward through the content. You really like that, huh? Oh man, it's good. You can't see exactly where you're fast forwarding to. Uh, there are no sort of splash thumbnail images. So uh, we've also got, of course, more episodes at the very bottom, as well as some closed captions and information about the series if we wanted to. So let me hit the back button and actually find a show, I guess, that should have advertisements. So Ascension, right? So let's click on that. We click on Watch Now. And all right, so you see these are, I guess they're more orange dots at the very bottom in which uh, you pass one of those and it should play an ad. Let's go now to, of course, movies. Same principle here is that you'll see a bunch of different categories for these movies. And I mean, they're pretty great movies like Catwoman. You're just, you're going to absolutely love it. Now, they do have the whole vacation series and Ted and Identity Thief, you know, fun stuff overall. The grudge is here. You'll notice as well in the upper left-hand corner of some of these thumbnails, so you should have left in the purge, for example, there's a purple stripe. And that means that you have to have the premium account, which I don't. But we can go ahead and watch on premium if we wanted to. And you can see it says go to the website to unlock. You've got all these classic, you know, universal monster movies as well, which is pretty darn sweet considering Halloween's around the corner. And same principle as well as let's go all the way to the very bottom. You'll see all the movies A to Z. It's a shame that I haven't figured out another way of doing that, but it seems like, yeah, the bottom is just where you have to go if you want to see everything without it being categorized in any such way. So this is just a lot of dog movies and animal movies. Okay, great. So... As well as if we go into the kids section, I'd assume we'll find even more animals. Yes, there's Nina's World and Curious George. Get out of my room. Love that. It's a great show. Never seen it before. Um, so you've also got some movies here. You've got that Trolls World Tour, some Lego stuff, Care Bears. All right. Next in the news tab, we've got all of our NBC news content. So whether or not you want to meet the press today, etc. So let's click on today for right now, see what happens. And so if it says one season, you can watch, I guess, a lot of nightly news content. There's MSNBC as well and CNBC content and Telemundo. In the sports category, looks like they've got a lot of soccer going on. And then in Latino, obviously, it's a bunch of Spanish content. Now, what makes it unique, though, is that there's this whole thing called channels and trending. All right. So with Peacock TV, this is just a kind of a, an interesting way of like, well, what's the latest status on various things going on in the world? All right. So we've got right now top sports stories playing. 
If you scroll on down to the next one, it's Peacock Pop, so you can already see information about the Emmys. And then there's the Premier League highlights, top headlines of Biden, Stage 21 highlights, you know, so just a bunch of, you know, stuff that we can generally skip on through and, and catch up on the news while we've been watching shows. It feels like kind of a website interface in that regard of what trending is. Now, the other thing that you can do, there are some linear channels on Peacock TV. So we're just going to go quickly run on through. So right now we're watching the SNL Vault. And then there's also NBC News Now. There's NBC Sports, the U.S. Open, looks like the Premier League TV, Today, All Day, uh, QUWTK. Oh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Got it. Now I know. I feel informed now. There's Fallon Tonight. Seth Meyers Now, Kiss Me Deadly, Unsolved Mysteries, CNBC, and CNBC Make It, Sky News, Peacock Reality, True Crime, American Greed, Hell's Kitchen, Taste Made, The Bob Ross Channel, In It to Win It, Poker, I Love Jenny, So Real, Fail Army, Comedy Dynamics, People Are Awesome, Pet Collective, Nature TV Vision, Weather Spy, as well as This Old House. So a bunch of different kind of content as that violent SML sketch plays in the background. And of course we can search if we wanted to right here within the app, find ET. And this is the original ET, mind you. So there are guns in it, which is very nice. Not walkie talkies. Anyway, y'all. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found it informative of what you can enjoy on Peacock TV. Again, I think that they've got some really good movies. And a lot of them are for free, which is awesome. If you haven't done so already, smack the like button as well as subscribe to this channel for more videos coming soon.